What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop and once again we're back at you for another epoxy blank making video. Um, I had to uh, pick up some more uh, deep pour epoxy from Wise Bond yesterday. I was perusing their website and I noticed all the cool river tables they were making. These big pieces of wood with these jagged chunks taken out of them filled with epoxy and I'm like, how cool would that be to, to turn something like that instead of making a table? So, went to my supply of uh, uh, pen blanks and I picked out some, uh, some beautiful Coco Bolo. I put it in my vise, smashed it with a hammer and broke off. Let's see if I can get these. I know it's a little bright out here today. So I got these gorgeous little chunks. That one came out beautiful and we're going to just set these in our um, our water bottle molds that we got on Amazon and then we're gonna fill them with uh, epoxy and see how they turn out um, I'm, I'm super stoked to see uh, to see how these turn out so we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix up some epoxy and um, uh, I picked up some of their wise bond the, the carrot gold I'm thinking the gold might, because that, cause that Coco Bolo's got a reddish hue to it, so I'm thinking the gold, or the carrot gold, maybe uh, might make that pop. So let's go ahead and get this uh, mixed up. We're using, a, like I said, the Wise Bond Deep Pour Epoxy. It is a two to one epoxy. So we've got our graduated mixing cups here. So we'll do the two. I'm just guessing on how much I need. So we've got, we measure it to the, to the five on one mark and then the, the next mark, the next five. So now we know we're at two to one. And then, and then I'm, I'm still getting the hang of, of how much uh, of this uh, colorant to use. So I want this to be pretty bright. So I'm just going to, I don't know. Just gonna use some of that up and then we're going to mix. We're gonna mix for about eight minutes and then um, pour it and let it set up. So we'll see you back here in a little bit. All right, it's been about eight minutes. Well, a little over eight minutes by the time I turn the camera on and everything. And we've got this gorgeous Oh, it's, um, I don't, if, if you've ever seen it, you know what it reminds me of, um, Chevrolet had it and then uh, a couple of the manufacturers had that car. It was a, a burnt orange, uh, beautiful color. I absolutely love it. That's exactly what, what this is. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, pour this up and then um, I'm going to go ahead and lean it up, up against something. Uh, I've used my molds quite a bit. The sides are starting to bow out now. So what I do now is I'm just going to lean it kind of lean it up and prop it a little bit. There we go, just so it's a little um, tighter. And then what, all right, so yeah, so I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll just, we'll just pour it up here and hopefully we should have enough. It's, you know, I'm just watching it because it's settling and it's soaking in. I just want to make sure we get it all. You know, I, I didn't, I, I underestimated how much was actually going to soak in, or or is it, or these, they're floating, that's what it is. I thought that the, uh, um, uh, the wood was absorbing, like all the epoxy, and the wood was actually floating to the top. So I'll just press those down. And it looks like they stayed they stayed down. Now I've got a little, a little much in there. 
but that's that's fine. Um, and you know the one the one good thing about about to overflow a little bit. Let me just scoop some into the next the next tray. Okay, so they're they're, they're wanting to float. So what I would do next time, if you see my other videos, you know Wise Bond um, takes like hours and hours to to set up. So I think next time when I do this, I'll, cause normally I'll, I'll you know let it sit three or four hours before I start my blending and anything else. So next time I do this, I'll wait those like three hours, three and a half, four hours until it thickens up a little bit and then pour it in. So um, so the pieces are floating right now. So I've got to I've got to get those to, and I guess it really doesn't matter. You know, thinking about it, it really doesn't matter if they do float. Because when you're pouring a blank anyways, even if they, it doesn't make a difference if it floats to the top or, or it sinks to the bottom, I'm turning, you know, the majority of, of the, the wood and the epoxy away. So, yeah, so does it really make a difference if it floats or not? I don't think it does. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, and leave it just like that. So we're going to, we're gonna leave it. I'll, uh, I'll snap these out tomorrow kind of see what they look like and we'll, we'll show you what they look like and then after a couple of days we'll get them uh, cut we'll get them drilled up and get them turned and um, kind of see what they look like so um, we'll see you back here soon all right and we're back it hasn't been the next day it's only been five minutes okay change of plans um, they started to float and then they started to tilt up and uh, I couldn't have that so what I did, I, I, I searched around and I'm like, good thing about being a tinkerer, you always got stuff laying around. I took a popsicle stick. I took some of these little clips, you know, for paper and stuff. Clipped four of them to a popsicle stick, the same width as my, my mold. And then I just set them right down on top. And then, I don't know if you can if you can see over there, let me grab the, the camera and I can kind of zoom in a little bit. And you see I made like a little teepee. Yeah, I made like a little teepee. I put one on either side of the clips and then one on top, which held, held the popsicle sticks, held that down. It didn't take very much weight at all and they're good. They're, they're gonna stay down. Um, the, these little, um, luckily I had some, some extra epoxy blanks left over and they're, they're touching the epoxy just a little bit, but not that much. I should just be able to snap them off, um, when I'm done. So, so quick, quick tip. Like I said, um, if I was to do it again, I would either, like I said, wait the three or four hours and then maybe when it's thicker or take like a little, uh, hot glue gun and then just one little dollop and then just glue it to the bottom of the mold. Um, even probably double-sided tape would, would work just fine also. Like I said, whatever you put on doesn't make any difference. You're going to turn it off anyways um, or turn it down. So, all right, we're good. So now we'll see you back here later on. All right, last time we left you, we had the <coughs> wooden Coco Bolo um, uh, encased in the epoxy. Those dried. We popped them out. Um, I, I cut them to the length that I want. You don't need to see all that. So I tried to, you can see a little bit through there, um, tried to pick out where I could barely see through it, tried to pick out a good section. Um, so I cut that section out, got my tubes glued in, got the end sanded square. That is not square at all. God, I don't even know what I was doing when I did that. Whew. Good thing on this, it doesn't really make a difference. So got the tube sanded square-ish. Um, I, uh, I always round my corners. You can see on here, um, while I'm sanding them, uh, I just round them. I, I just find it um, less, less likely chance of a blowout. So, well, speaking of that, I did have a blowout. So this is what one of them looks like with the wood. I, I cocked my lathe as I was drilling it. Uh, a, a drill bit went off to the side, psh, instantly uh, blew up. So luckily, safety glass is on. So that's kind of what it looks like. So I'm super stoked to see how this is going to turn out. 
Um, this will be my first you know, wood epoxy hybrid um, turning blank. So I'm glad to have everybody here with me. So um, we're just going to we're gonna turn on the vacuum, gonna put on my dust mask. We're gonna start turning. We'll do this blank beginning to end. May speed it up a little bit, might get a little boring, but I'll definitely have some music playing in the background. And um, we'll, we'll sand it, we'll polish it, we'll get it all taken care of, and you'll see this one as a, uh, as a finished product. So just sit back and hopefully enjoy the show. If you see something that I'm doing wrong, you experience turners, the way I'm holding something or, or approaching the piece, definitely leave me a comment down below. I'm still new at this, I'm still learning, so I'm always looking for ways to improve. So leave me a comment if you see something that I'm doing wrong. And what we end up with is a cool 
hybrid. That's kind of cool. I don't know what happened here. Like there's a hole in the wood, but the uh, the epoxy came through. But I don't remember there being any type of, you know, what makes that badass is it's just badass. I mean, it's I I don't know how I could replicate that, which is kind of strange. It is so cool that that came through. Oh my god. And um, super, super awesome. Um, I love it. So, um, and then the key is how are we going to, because now it's half wood, we got to protect it. And I mean, even, oh, I don't know if you can see it, like even get like the little splinters, you know, have laid down perfectly with this epoxy. So um, I guess we're going to go ahead, probably just go ahead and put a CA finish on it. That's about all, I think all I'll do is um um because they said you got to protect the wood the epoxy is not so bad but the epoxy uh will, will take a ca also so oh i'm super stoked super stoked um on like the endless possibilities um uh, i think the orange went really well with that coco bolo but i think just about any color will go will go pretty good um it's kind of, you know, I don't know. It's um, Like I said, it's just my mind now is reeling uh, with all the cool things that, that I can do with this. So, super awesome. And that's what you can do with the, uh, the, the Wise Bond Deep Pour Epoxy. It's just such a cool product. I love that the working time is hours on it instead of minutes. And like I said, it's just, it literally, your possibilities are endless. Well, figuratively. So, um, all right, um, I'll leave a link down below. It'll take you to uh, Wisebond if you want any information on um, uh, like MSDS or anything on the, uh, the products. Um, I'll, I'll give you a coupon code down below, Cigar Prop. It'll save you 10% um, back on anything that you order. So, um, and yes, like I said, it, it is an affiliate link. Um, it gets me a couple of dollars, you know, that, that, that's it. Helps me, you know, buy all the, all, all the epoxy, buy all the blanks and hopefully keep making these videos. So, all right, that's all I got for today. So, uh, as always, make sure you give your cigars the props they deserve. I really should come up with a new tagline for the epoxy thing. Like, the cigar tagline's just not, not cutting it. So, make sure you give your turning blanks the epoxy they deserve. I don't know. I'll work on it.